Hello everyone, this is a set that I've been looking forward to getting opened, getting built, getting in my hands, and also sharing a look at with all of you. It's the VIP promotional giveaway set for October 2017. It comes in a bag, 205 pieces, and it was available from physical Lego stores and also Lego Shop at Home with fairly large purchases. It was kind of a, a, a high barrier to entry to get this, I guess because of its size. It would have been nice if it was a little bit cheaper, but it varies by region, just how much it costs. But let me get it open, let me get it built, and share it with you. There we are. So this kind of has three major components to it and they can all be attached together. But one of them kind of feels like it doesn't really go with the rest. And I am referring here to, not the figure, but the VIP badge. It's just kind of a, a logo badge or could represent kind of a, a membership card. It's attached with a couple of Technic pins going into Technic bricks that are a little bit a little bit flimsy, just this whole back assembly kind of comes in and out, but it, it, it can be forced to be attached, but it doesn't really work all that well, in my opinion. This kind of feels like just a separate thing. But this, as, it's, as it is, by itself, is cool. The P definitely looks a lot better than the V here. Uh, if they had used the, the corner tile pieces down there, it would have looked like a U, like UP or UIP, but nice to get a monofig in this, nice to get the uh, round corner tiles, nice to get the 2x2 two two corner tiles as well. And you know, this is able to stand up just by itself. So I think that just as a badge, just like that, that thing is cool. But this is a lot more cool to me right here because it represents a small Lego model of a Lego store with Lego models in it, or at least Lego bricks back in the back. So let me take the figure out of the way for just a moment and I'll show you that figure by itself. I like the pick and build, formerly known as pick a brick wall that they have on the back there. The inclusion of the clear tiles on the front uh, looks really good. This set does use stickers. It comes with a sticker sheet and uh, I think I've mentioned this in the haul video where I got one of these that it's important that this comes with stickers because if they tried to print all of those pieces it would have made the whole thing much more expensive because you don't just pay for the prints themselves you have to pay for the the setup and then the maintenance of all those different part numbers so here it's just one sheet that gives you stickers and you can apply them i think it's perfectly fine it's nice to get a a range of minifig scaled uh, box fronts at least, you know, there's not a lot of thickness to them, but you know, you've got juniors there, you've got friends, you've got Duplo, uh, Creator, City, and Superheroes are all represented. The Ghostbusters uh, uh, Firehouse is not intended to be a box, it's intended to be a display on the wall, either a display or a built, I guess, a display case built into the wall, I believe, or uh, or a photo of one, but I think it's supposed to be a display case. That doesn't look so good to me. It's not very believable to me. I feel like it should have been done on a, a white background and, or a black background or something just to maybe gray, I don't know, something to make it look more inset. Not a problem to me. The whole thing is still cool. We've got the iconic red brick up here, super sized. They've got a couple of the coffee mugs, one in red, one in white. This is just a spot where you can pick up some pieces so that could either represent uh, the, the build your own minifig bin area or uh, could represent I mean maybe with this cup they're just trying to get you into the idea of, of filling up pick a brick or now pick a build uh, cups that could be what that represents or that could just be the Duplo bin that they, they put in for younger kids but I really like this wall back here Nice variance of, of color. And they do give you, and sorry about there being a little bit of uh, dust in there, but that happens. They do give you enough room to actually put a Lego store employee behind the register. It's a printed register. And he uses a sticker for the shopping bag there. 
which represents pictures of some bricks on it. And he's holding it because he's about to hand it to a customer. So he's not, you know, shopping for himself. You would bring a customer in here and try to squeeze them in there. So let me just go ahead and put myself into the scene. <laughs> it's a uh, it's 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 very close quarters. I'll kind of like lean back just a little bit, like well, you're all up in my face, man. Just uh, personal space, personal space. Mm. I guess what you could do is take just this right here and move that back. A stud. That works really well because then you have the two studs there, and you can have a customer a little bit more comfortable standing at at that distance. That's a little bit better. Nice to have that option. Of course, it's Lego. So you can do whatever you want. And then they've got Brickley the Dragon, who is built up on the wall with a fair amount of articulation. So you can kind of change the angle of the, the face there, the upper jaw. Well, is it a dragon or is it a sea monster? And the answer is yes. The answer is definitely yes. <laughs> Depends upon the context that you choose. Oh, sorry about that. I like that they actually used the the ball joint for the head because you can really get this turned all around kind of different ways. So uh, as you I feel like I missed a piece, but as you um, choose a place to display this, you know, if you if you are an adult and you have a workspace a cubicle or something, you might want to put this on the corner of a cubicle and maybe you want to have this facing towards wherever a person is going to be walking in. Just adds a little more personality to it. So that's kind of cool. Let's take a closer look at this exclusive figure. Oh yeah, of course, that's what's missing because I just knocked the tail off just now. But yeah, about that figure. In my opinion, this is a much better LEGO store employee figure than the last one. Has nicer printing, I think, and most importantly, has a nice large LEGO logo on the back. I don't know if that's part of the official garb, you know, the official shirt for employees in any particular region, if they've switched to that or anything, but it just makes so much more sense to me to actually have a big old Lego logo clearly visible on a figure compared to the previous promotional version that they did that uh, didn't have any such thing and had really creepy eyes and a very strange position of the mouth. It just uh, almost kind of looks like a mannequin version of, of a, a Lego person. Now that one did have the printing on the arms, which was kind of nice, the stripes, but between these two, I would take this one any day, especially looking at the faces and the backs. Yeah. See, I want a Lego logo on my Lego minifigures. I just do. And so they put it on this one and the print that is there is good. And uh, the hair piece is fine. It's the same one again, no alternate face for that, but I think it's cool. So again, I really do think this looks best just keeping the badge separate, but you can connect it to the very nice little corner of a store, which has a pretty decent build. And I like what they did with the dragon slash sea serpent. I like the figure very much. It's just nice stuff. The only thing that I don't like about this is how much uh, they require you to pay. And again, that, that varies by, by region. It is a free set, truly free. You don't pay for the set itself, but you do have to buy a lot in order to qualify for that free thing. Uh, you know, some people get very cynical about that. You know, the price is included in the price of the sets. Well, yeah, kind of, uh, but uh, it's it's like not even a penny per per set that you're really in real life paying for a promotion like this. You know, over the course of of a year, so. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. I just wish that it was a little bit easier uh, to, to get your hands on it. Fortunately, a lot of people get these things for free and then put them on eBay or Bricklink. So you actually still can get it uh, kind of cheap-ish, <laughs> but uh, you know, at, at a little bit of, of uh, markup, but overall a nice set regardless. But that's it for my look at this set. Hope that you got to see everything the way you want to. And uh, I'll be talking to you again soon because my next video is on the way.